I'm Hans Platz and you're watching Guitar Mania Channel. Hans, welcome to Vienna again. It's Thank you. Glad to see you again. I think what we met uh, in Nuremberg. In Nuremberg. Around, in what was it, May? In May, yeah. Something yeah, around, around, May, around, around May. May. Around my birthday, actually. Yeah, I and think. we were doing some fantastic uh, equipment review. Yes, Mesa Boogie. Mesa Boogie. How is how is the amplifier doing? It's I mean, are, still, are you still using I'm it? I'm still for? using it. I have it at home for recording, and on stage I'm using the big. Rectifier actually. Even tonight? Yes, even tonight. So tonight you are on the show with Feuer, Feuerschwanz? Yes, Feuerschwanz. Feuerschwanz, sorry, but my Hochdeutsch, they're German. Feuerschwanz is translated. What does it mean? It's like, well, there are two translations actually. One tra translation would be fire tail. Tail, so like, like sort of. Like a dragon's tail. tail. Dragon tails, okay. Exactly. But the other translation would be fire dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Schwanz has a double meaning actually in German. So it's up to you which translation how, how, how you're you using. Okay, how you want to interpret this? Okay. Actually, yeah. Yeah. At the moment, you are a permanent member of of Feuer, Feuer Schwanz. Yes. But how about your uh, solo car career? How does it combine together? So you you had last year this your solo album Timestamps. Yeah. Where you had lots of really big names sort of supporting you or helping you to to get this this CD out. Marco Minemann as a drummer, but I'm just here looking here and T.M. Stevens on the, on the bass. He, he was the first I was asking to, to, to play on the album. I had one song finished and I sort of was looking for a bass player and I just thought, give it a shot, <laughs> write an email to T.M. Stevens and give it a try. So you simply wrote him an email? Yeah, I thought I, I have nothing to lose, so why not? And? And well, after a couple of minutes I've got an answer of, of the management and she said yeah he's on tour but he, he, he's, she's going to make sure that he's going to listen to it when he re returns home and well and it happened and it happened and how, how is the <coughs> album going so it's far very, very well actually I must say you gave it to me what was it in in Frankfurt during in Frankfurt, the Messe the and it's still messe. in my car almost like every second day I keep listening to it and uh, we That's actually how it should be. <laughs> yeah, we actually planning to use one of perhaps if you agree one song on our Guitar Mania mm -hmm. 2014 highlights sure. video it, 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 it's, it's absolutely awesome. <laughs> yeah. coming back to Feuer Schwanz how sure. I think this is the last or the second last show of the tour Yes. With, with the band here. So you are now in Vienna. We, what is it, seven o'clock? Actually, you're going to play in an hour or so. How was, this, how was the tour so far going? The tour was, very, was, was, was great. We, have, we were playing all over Germany, in Hamburg and Berlin, Vienna today. Vienna today. And the tour is really lots of people and, and partying and it's, <laughs> the music is about party it's 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 different from my solo but, uh, stuff but uh, yeah, yeah. Th because this is what this is what my feeling i mean your solo albums style of music is totally well not really totally different it's uh, quite a different from you could that say type total, of music you could say yeah? totally different. how do you find yourself in between those two different styles uh, well, it, or is it it's 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 still music everything is music i mean so you like both i like both and you shouldn't put on oh, i don't know the english word like like a horse and, and don't look left or right like bars okay yeah. so you just position yourself into one direction and, and you have to look just grab what you like and different influences and and do what you like and that's it's a different thing it's, it's different music but it's still fun yeah i mean this, this is people awesome. enjoy it people like it talking about those, those two different styles uh where do you get the inspirations for both i mean for for your fans yeah. <laughs> and timestamps for your mm -hmm. solo career, I mean, especially because they are different. So, where is the inspiration I think coming from? The inspiration is not that much different, actually. I think it's always a mood. It's it's more like a feeling you have when you have a certain mood, like happy or mellow or mm -hmm. sad or or melanc melanc melancholy. melancholy. And um, moods create music. And in, and in the end, music should create a certain mood in the listener. And, and 
but if it's complicated, if the music is complicated or not, if it's easy, just three chords, or if it's like and, and strange measures, that doesn't matter. In the end, what's important is that the listener gets a co connection to the music and um, gets emotionally touched by the music. And this could be like happy music, like people start freaking out and <laughs> doing party. That's a kind of emotion as well. Well, actually, and this type of how would you call how would you call Feuerstein's fun type of music? This is uh, I. For well, me, sort of like mid middle, middle ages. Yeah, the of official name is, I think it's medieval comedy Medi rock. Yeah, it's I like it's 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 rock music plus back backpipe um, and lots of old instruments. Yeah, very and violin and, and and stuff and with more or less funny German lyrics. I was shooting last year. I think I was showing you the pictures. Yeah. There was in Saint Pölten the, the mm -hmm. big big show medieval. Festival mm -hmm. and there was like three or four bands from Germany and mm -hmm. we actually yeah. four of them you knew and, yeah. and I really enjoyed it This is what you said exactly like a mixture of rock metal and something older yeah. this, this, And plastic costumes. Actually, are you going to wear some costumes on, yes. the, on the stage yes. and there yes. will be some yes. So besides the music there will be some show and we have female dancers on and we have female dancers. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it and yeah. we'll take some pictures as well. Yeah, well. different Types of music, different styles of music. We spoke about the Mesa Boogie. <coughs> Have you, uh, with with Feuerstein fans, are you using the same equipment well, or, or as a solo artist, or is it's different? Well, actually, yes. I, w I, I think it's basically the same equipment. Talking Feu about the amplifiers, yeah. yeah. Regarding the amplifiers, currently the Mesa Boogie mm. rectifier, and as an effects unit, I'm using the XFX because it's mm -hmm. all in one, and you don't have to. Uh, I'm pragmatic. It's easy. It's an easy <laughs> setup. Just, Just come in, plug in, and, and exactly. Play. And not too many cables and not too many different stuff to care of. And the guitars. And Ibanez is it guitars? the same? So it's so always Ibanez. Yes, yes, yes. Because you, I think you are endorsed by by, yeah, by, endorsed by Ibanez. When I recorded the album, timestamps actually I did use all kinds of different amps. There's an old Vox AC30 to be heard on the album. I think it's from 64, the very old amp. There's a Bogner amplifier on it. There are the XFX is on it because it took quite a while to record it and I used different equipment. Mm -hmm. But, but equipment is, is a tool actually. It's, it's, it's a tool to get the, the sound thing, right. To get the, the, the sound, the sound what, what you have in what your mind. Your mind. It's, it's, it's like with photography. It just you yeah, can like have a good this camera, this. but the art. You is, have the is, idea is in your head. Exactly, this is it. Not, yeah. um, coming, going back in the past, yes. to the past, your beginnings. Yeah. I mean, how did you start? Tell us simply. Tell us about <laughs> your beginnings. You well, know, playing guitar yes. or maybe other instruments. Yeah. Uh, no, I started playing guitar. Well, I, I was I was learning flute in the first grade actually, but like, that was like a very short... Front or, or side? No, okay. but that was a very short <laughs> intermezzo. But I, actually my, my, si my little sister had a ukulele, okay. like a four-string ukulele, and I always was grabbing it and started playing on the ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> and I learned some stuff on the ukulele just by ear, and then I went to a friend who was playing electric guitar, and I picked up the electric guitar and just started playing stuff I played on the ukulele, very simple stuff. But just for yeah, hearing. Yeah, and everybody was, whoa, why do you know that you don't play guitar? And so that was the beginning. So I thought, okay, I could play guitar, maybe I should. <laughs> yes, and from then, every it day It carried playing. on, yeah? yeah? So how many years you've been sort of on stage? On, pff, more than 20 years. More than 20 yeah. years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, main influences. Oh, the changed I mean, during over twenty years. This, this during must those <laughs> twenty years, actually, also in, in the beginning, I was after all those fast guitar players like Steve Vai, Joe Sargiani, and Ingrid Malmsteen, Paul Gilbert, which I still like today. But, and I think, but, uh, listening, but, sorry, to mm -hmm, yeah. listening to your. You can hear it. You can you can <laughs> hear those influences sometimes, especially when you're going into the solo. Mm -hmm. It's it's well that's okay because I think what you grab up when you're young, it's like it stays. Like, it, it stays. It's like speaking when you you get influenced in the mm -hmm. beginning and it's 
it's your base vocab vocabulary, sculpt, I think. Yeah, it, it, it sort of sculptures you yeah. for the rest. Yeah, it, uh -huh. yeah it's like a, like a path you choose, more or less conscious. Oh. Well, and then later on, I, I listened to d different styles, like more classical music, Paco de Lucia, or Eli Miola, or more jazz, Mike Stern and stuff. So you have you have to stay open-minded and... Mike Stern, Mike Stern? Jazz, yeah, it is jazz. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, fusion, it's, it's, jazz, whatever. Yeah. But uh, your fi five favorite albums of all time. That's a very hard one. <laughs> Come on, you just you just you just mentioned at least five or six big names yes. in guitar, but, but maybe I think there was some. That's, well, one of it would be Friday Night in San Francisco with Paco de Lucia, Aldi Miola, and John McLaughlin. Then maybe Steve Vai, Passionate Warfare. Um, and it gets hard. <laughs> so he has what? Three now or two? Two. two. <laughs> two. I think my my very first album I bought was Saga, Life in Transit, and I I, I still like that record actually. It's one of my first vinyl record I ever bought. Okay. And I still like it. I think the vinyl is coming back. Let us talk about practicing. How how can you become a better musician from your perspective? Well, practicing. That changed over the years, over the last 20 years. When I started playing, I, I did lots of scales and, and finger workouts mm -hmm. and um, tapping, eight finger tapping, sweeping and stuff. And the older I grew, the more um, it changed into more, the more important the musical idea became. It's more about music and less about playing guitar, actually. So it's more about the sound, the and idea, and, and than about the technique. Yeah. Or You've got a song or, or chords or a mood, and and you have in your head something to to show that mood to to like when you're talking, you, you or when you're writing, you don't think too much about what you're saying or how you are saying, like which mm -hmm. technique you are speaking, but you you try to um, explain it emotionally as well, not just with technique or something. You, you understand what I mean? I think so. Yeah. Because this, I'm a photographer, so yeah, it, it yeah. sort of it comes back to me before I even touch the equipment or something. Mm -hmm. I have a, I have a picture in my mind. Yeah, it might be I'm not, but I'm not a musician. Perhaps my, my you have, you have a so some sounds coming into yeah, your my, head. My, my picture is a feeling, actually, yeah, like so a, like an emotion. We, we actually we had it we had a chat when you were in the in the cafeteria. Yeah. So I find the music and photography really well, it's, it's, it's art. close. It's, it's both art. are. It's well, just it's a art. different way of expression, exactly. but it, it's coming. At a painter doesn't care. It's not important which paintbrush which he's using. But the color is important. But the color, or, or, yeah. oh, not, not, not might be may, maybe not the color, color, but the composition itself, the picture. Depends on the, the vision, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's You're not going to, ah, oh, that's a stroke, <laughs> that's where here, he had a little thicker stroke or whatever. You don't do that. Yeah. You just look at the picture and say, wow, that's great. And that's the same with music, I think, because it's not important if you play it run in, in the song, but it's and important if song, you, yeah. you hear the music and think, wow, it creates something in you, like a picture or you, you Thoughts are wandering off into whatever. What would you say to young musicians, to young, young musicians. guitarists? Yes. So you said you are like you've been playing for the last twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. For now, don't forget the groove, like the metronome and playing with the drummer. Don't um, play too much solo, but all the rhythm guitar. You mean like in a as a solo or with the band or with the band? With the band. It's very important to play with other people actually to get the connection, mm -hmm. to see the drummer playing how he how he moves and get the rhythmical movement and get it to yourself that you play rhythmically mm -hmm. as well, because lots of young guitarists you, you see it on YouTube um, play super fast and super technical and stuff, but well, sometimes. The groove is missing. <laughs> you know, that's and the other. That's more like a technical guitar-wise aspect. And the other one would be what I said earlier about focusing on the music and don't pe don't be blinded. Just oh, I, this, I'm a metal guitarist. I'm a just master stay metal open guitarist. Minded, different stay different open genres, minded. different There's styles good of music, music everywhere. Not independent of the style. But just keep your eyes, your ears open. I was in Greece 
couple two years ago on holiday and there was in like a Greece folklore folk mm -hmm. evening. Folk folk? Yes. No, no, not folk rock, just folk music. Greece folk, folk Re music. Real folk music. Real okay. Greece folk music. And half of them had odd measures actually. Not just the typical German 4-4 four, four, or the Western music 4-4, four, mm -hmm. four, but it was 7-8 and 5-8, all different measures. And that was quite, quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Any plans for the new one? Well, I hope to play live. <laughs> yeah, so as a solo concert? Yes, that would be great if time permits. But I still, I still want to do it to bring it on stage, definitely. But any plans, or maybe you already started work on the on the new album? Well, there are ideas, but nothing recorded yet. Nothing recorded. <laughs> okay, Hans, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm absolutely looking forward to the gig in basically hour and a half from thank now. You. And uh, I'll see talk you again. afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll see you afterwards.